for one Baton Rouge woman. She says she's dealing with people dumping trash on her property and she's been forced to pay up. So she called Contact 9 and Dion Guillory for help with this dumping dilemma. No dumping, private property, no trespassing signs line the front of Linda Maloney's yard in Scotlandville. The lot is clean now, but she says it's been the target of illegal dumping. Tires, wood and sheetrock, uh, old furniture, pieces. These pictures show how bad it can get. Large piles of trash from boards and wood to old furniture to tires stacked on top of each other. It's like a neighborhood area dumping spot. Maloney says it's happened several times over the past few years. The city of Baton Rouge taking her to court saying she is in violation of the blight code. But I don't think that's fair. Maloney says in total, the illegal dumping cost her more than $1,200 with cleanup and court costs. The city parish sent us this statement that reads in part, quote, we sympathize with property owners who are affected by illegal dumping, but we must also take into consideration the quality of life of their neighbors who contacted city parish about the blight violation. Numbers from the city parish show 506 properties were taken to court for blight-related violations so far this year, with court costs and fines coming in just below $200,000. On average, the city gives property owners 10 extra days to clear their violation. The city's Office of Community Development does have a program to help develop vacant lots to prevent illegal dumping. Maloney says she's trying to find the money to put up cameras and reinforce the fence. Until then, she's worried about the illegal dumping piling up more fines. It's, it's depressing. It's sad. It's, I don't know. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's almost like a penalty, like I shouldn't know it. The fear of more violations has her thinking about dumping her family's property on someone else. With this Contact 9, I'm Dion Guillory, WAFB 9 News. Ms. Maloney there says that she's going to look into that program with the city's Office of Community Development. If you want to do the same, you can find their number with this story on the WAFB news app or WFB.com. And if there's something you'd like to tell our team, maybe it's something that you want them to look into, you can send an email to contact9 at WAFB.com. Contact9 at WAFB.com.